Hello, and welcome back to Vlogscast, and welcome to the very first episode of Talkin' Box. Um, I am pleased to uh, join you, however you are listening, but today we are going to be going over my season preview, and what I think of the team, what I think they're going to do, my expectations, goals, hopes, and... How I think this season will go. Um, it is on the eve of opening day right now, March 29th. Tomorrow, March 30th, the Pirates play the Cincinnati Reds at 4:10 for the very first game of the season. I just want to give some predictions and how I feel about this team going into the season. Um, so, welcome, obviously, again to Talking Bucks, and I want to start out with obviously. You know, the the Kutch jersey. Obviously, I want to start out with the obvious. So we got Kutch back, which I I like it a lot. I think it was mainly in the Pirates' eyes a PR move, which obviously worked to get fans back. But I, I like um I like his veteran presence he's going to bring to the team. I think that he's got he's got a lot of good values he's going to bring to this team and help this young developing core. And I really like that they brought him back. And uh, if this really is his last year, I'm glad he's finishing it back here where he started. Um, and then bringing in Rich Hill, older pitcher, very old. Um, I'm not sure how to really feel about it. I think he's solid. He's nothing what he once was. He's not as good. He he. I mean, he's he's okay. He's average. Um. Good pitcher to add. Um, G-Man Choi at first base. I like that move. Um, he played for the Rays and they traded for him. I like the move of bringing him in. I think that's a really good solid addition. And he'll, they'll have Carlos Santana as well at first, which is a solid backup as well. Another veteran leader. And the obvious is they need to re-sign Brian Reynolds because he is going to be a part of this core with, you know, Hayes, Cruz, uh, you know, like those those main players, they need to re-sign him immediately, as soon as possible. But I like I like how we're set up for the most part. You know, Mitch Killer on the hill, and I like Cruz at shortstop, Hayes at third. He's an elite defenseman. I think you throw Kutch in right field, and keep Reynolds in center for as long as you have him. And you know, I like I like this lineup a lot better than what we've had going into the past couple of years. Because I think this lineup is better than, if not the best, lineup they've had since twenty sixteen, the first year they didn't make the playoffs after that three year stretch. I think that this is the team that's been the best since then. Obviously, it's not a very uh, high bar to cross or anything, but I think this team is probably the best one they've had since then. Again, not a very not a very high bar, big accomplishment by any means, but I do have some hope going into this year. I like our. I like our chances of not finishing last and actually not worry about getting first pick because I think my my prediction is that they'll be in the ballpark of 75 to 83 wins. I will be happy with any number of those wins. Um, officially, I'll say... I'm thinking seventy six and eighty six. Seventy six and eighty six. There. That is my season prediction. I think the Pirates will finish seventy six and eighty six. Obviously, like I said, I will be happy if that's our record, but I want them to strive for more. My my hopes is that we have a 500 or above season. I know that it's a lot to ask for, especially with this young squad, but I really 
I, I mean, I think they can do it too. Obviously, it's not my prediction, but I think that this team can finish 500, at least 500. Um, obviously, I have high hopes because I right now, at the beginning of the year, I, I have hopes that they'll make it to the wild card and back in to the playoffs. Obviously, the chances of that are slim, but I do have hope and think they can do it, even though it's not very likely. Um, my next goal for them is for O'Neill Cruz to have at least 30 home runs. He should be an all-star. He should be participating in the home run derby. I think he should at least have 30 home runs this year, especially if he's playing from day one on opening day tomorrow and not starting mid-June. He should be easily hitting 30 home runs. Um, I'd obviously like to see them re-sign Reynolds. I think that is big in drawing in more fans and actually making sure this time is different compared to the last teams we've had where we just let our players go or trade them away. I think re-signing Reynolds would be huge uh, for these fans. And... Um, another big thing, I'm excited for June 27th, the release of the City Connect jerseys. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm hoping for gold jerseys that say Steel City with some sort of bridge on there. I'm very excited for that. I feel like that is something to be excited about because they've either been really good or really bad, but I think the Pirates will turn out good. You, you can't mess this one up. Um... More goals. Um, I feel like the they need to compete in in this division. It's easily the probably the weakest division in baseball. You have the Reds who should finish fifth. As I was saying, I think the Reds will finish last. And hopeful prediction here, I think the Cubs will finish fourth. Pirates third, Brewers second, Cardinals first. Um, I really hope that happens, although things look like the Pirates might finish fourth. I really hope I'd be happy with a third place finish in the division, a uh, 500 season, and obviously right now I think they'll make the playoffs in my, my false hope as a Pirates fan at the beginning of the year. But looking forward to this weekend, um, I think – it would be big, and I think it would be a good way to start the season if we take two out of three from the Reds. I really do. And I think we can win tomorrow. And if we do, I feel like we drop one of the two on Saturday, Sunday. Maybe like a win win tomorrow, win Saturday, win sun, or lose Sunday. I feel like that's more likely to happen. But I think this weekend won't tell us everything about this team, but it'll be a good indication of what we have to come obviously we're playing a lesser reds team but that's i think that's all i have for you for today for the season preview if you want my my world series prediction i have the padres winning the nl and the astros winning the al and I don't like to do this, but I feel like the Astros are going to go back-to-back. -back. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for Pirates opening day season preview. And I'm really hopeful this year. I'm looking forward to this year. I like this team a lot better than the last couple teams we've had the last few years. And obviously, I'm really excited for Kutch to come back. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll upload this around noon on opening day. So... You can maybe watch it, listen to it before first pitch comes out. And thank you, and I will see you tomorrow or Friday whenever I upload my review on game number one. Thank you for watching the very first episode of Talkin' Bucks, and we hope to see you next time. Thank you.